All right. Well, welcome to today's uh, episode of uh, Dr. Jawbreaker. Today, we're going to do uh, something kind of basic, um, kind of boring, if you will, but sometimes boring is good. Um, in fact, a lot of times in surgery, boring is good. Uh, we're going to take out two upper wisdom teeth, tooth numbers 1 and 16. Um, if you take a look here, the reason why these wisdom teeth need to be removed um, is because food and bacteria will get behind the second molar into this little area right here. And eventually, and then on this side, comes over here. Eventually, cavities, gum disease, bone loss, and infections that can be bad enough that actually damage or destroy the tooth in front of it, leading to the loss of a total of four teeth, uh, will occur. So to avoid that, we get these teeth out. We also worry that they're going to force their way in. In order to make room, teeth in the front will actually shift and move. If that happens, the only way they go back is with braces again. So to do this, um, what we're going to do is give our patient some medicine, um, have her drift off and fall asleep, get the areas numb. Um, we'll use the regular dental local anesthetic plus the ultra long lasting local anesthetic that decreases pain and tenderness by 70 to 75%. Um, and then take these teeth out. The risks so the things to watch out for here uh, include the sinus. And this is the sinus floor. If there's ever a hole in here between the mouth and the sinus, we just put a stitch or two in the gums up here to seal that off. Um, so let's go do this and um, see what happens. All right, so here we go. We're gonna get you to take a nice deep breath into your nose. You're gonna start feeling very warm and fuzzy from the inside out. Excellent. 10 cc's of propofol is on its way in. So just take a nice deep breath into your nose. Next thing we're gonna do is give some lidocaine, or pardon me, some marking. Point five. So a little local there, a little local on the palate as well. I'm gonna switch the ranges. Go to the other side here. Now I leave the bite block in place just so I don't have to deal with moving the bite block. And you see in that little pocket right there, like right this direction right here. A little local in there. Okay. And then we'll go in the palette. Turn our head towards me. And right there. Then we'll use some Expurl. This is our uh, encapsulated bupivacaine that'll keep her numb for two to three days afterwards. So we're going to give two and a half cc's on each side. So here we go with nothing goes south. And then we need to retract. And it and show that area right there. Okay, so I'll get a 15. And what we're gonna do? Pink is turning off. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Making our incision. Okay. And there's our little tooth. I'll get a small canal there. So then we'll get underneath this cute little tooth. Give it a nudge and a wiggle and convince it just to be a good fella, just like that. There it is, Roger. My kids asked me once what it's like taking out wisdom teeth. I told them it was like pulling carrots from the ground. So there's the tooth right there. See that little squiggle? We're always thankful when the little roots don't break off. Oh, come back here. Okay, I always like to palpate and make sure it's smooth as well. Just a little tiny bony edge. So I'm going to just make sure that's nice and smooth, right there, right there, and I'll palpate it again to make sure it's still smooth, and then there's that. So what we'll do is we'll pack off this side, I'll get a bite block for the other side, they are slippery little fellas too. Okay, here we go, chin up, again a pharyngeal screen to block off that airway to make sure nothing goes south. Okay, now here is our other side, right there. Okay. Make an incision across the crest of the tuberosity. Right here. Makes that funny little noise. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Very awesome. So we'll elevate the flap here and expose the site. Right there. A little bit of bone over the area, so we're going to nibble that away with a ranger. This one's not super deep, so we don't need to do all This is called a ranger. There. And it's just a little grabber that can just nibble away and remove just a little bit of bone in this area so we can see this too. Alright, there. Okay. 
more straight elevators. Now that I can see it, I'll get underneath this little fella, and again, just give it a little wiggle. Sneak this out. Throw it like that. Okay. This one is definitely bigger. We'll have to put these two teeth side by side to kind of show that too. There's that too. Curat. Which of the tissue in there? There's not. I see a little bony edge right there. Oh, that was nice stuff to find out. Oh, it's right there. Good. Bone fun. Let's make sure that that's smooth. Just a little bit of a rough edge there, so we're going to make sure that that's smoothed up. And then a little suction just to suck up those little stickers. Good. Okay, now I'm going to palpate this to make sure it feels smooth. And it does. So if you take a look, it just kind of sits right back on top. And that's the way you leave it. No suture required. Pack that off. Let's take a look at those two little cuties. Side by side. Definitely a difference in size there. Oh yeah. Yep. And we use a total of 10 cc's of propofol as well. And that is extraction of tooth numbers 1 and 16. All right, guys, that was it. We took out tooth numbers 1 and 16. That's two less wisdom teeth causing trouble in this world. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, please uh, write them down below. Leave a comment if you wish as well. Um, also, subscribe to this channel and tell all your friends. Thanks again, and uh, we'll catch you next time. percent overall drop in opioid use and with the proper understanding and use of Expril, you too can see the success that Expril will bring to your clinic. Dr. McClelland, DDS, has been using it in his clinic for a few years now, and he's seen great success in his patients and their pain management every day. In this six-video series, you get a professional master class that will give you the jump start you need to include Expril in your daily routine. It includes a bonus PDF with a patient information handout post-op medical instructions, and a quick look sheet for the materials and supplies for explaining Expril. Go to teachable.com today and get educated on a non-opioid anesthetic that will help your patients have a better day.